In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SE04 2 minus. The first thing we do when we draw Lewis structures, we count up the valence electrons. So SE, selenium, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. Oxygen is in the same group. We have four oxygen atoms. And this 2 minus up here, that means we have two extra negative charges, two extra electrons. So we're going to add two more valence electrons. 6 plus 24 plus 2 is 30 two total valence electrons for the SeO4 Lewis structure. So we'll put Se in the center of our Lewis structure. That's the least electronegative. Then we'll put the oxygens around the outside. Next, we put a pair of electrons between atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. Then we go around the outside. We'll complete the octet on the oxygen atoms. At this point, we've used all 32 of our valence electrons, and it looks pretty good. Each oxygen atom, that has an octet, eight valence electrons. And if we look at the central selenium atom, that has an octet. So it looks pretty good. The problem is that our formal charges, we'd like them to be as close to zero, or in this case, as close to the charge on the ion. Right now, this is what our formal charges look like. So these are the formal charges right now. And if we add them all up, we'll have this two minus. We'd much rather this be closer to zero, get these numbers closer to zero, while still adding up to two minus. The way we do that, we could move this pair of electrons here, and then the formal charge for this oxygen here would be zero, and now this would be plus one. So we can move these here, and then we'd have a zero on this oxygen here, and the selenium, that would be zero. And if we added up the formal charges, we get the two minus. So this is the best Lewis structure for SeO4 2 minus. We should put brackets around it, though, to show that it's an ion. And then we could write 2 minus out here to show the ionic charge. Note this will have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. So that's it. This is the Lewis structure for SeO4 2 minus. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.